This is Friday Briefing. Many thanks for staying with us. To some business news, giant telecommunications company Safaricom seems to have cha a change of heart on claims that they are dominant in the telecommunications industry. Now, despite staging a spirited fight over dominance claims earlier this month, a soft Safaricom CEO, Bob Collimo, today said their market share makes them a dominant, but they have been unfairly targeted in attempts to punish them. Actually, dominance is a matter of fact. If you are more than 50% in a market segment, in this telecommunications sector, you are dominant. And so we've never denied that we're dominant. What the board and the management feel very strongly about is the fact that um, there is an assumption that we are abusing dominance, whereas in fact, if you look at the analysis Mason report, it clearly says that there is no sign that we are abusing dominance. If you look at issues such as um, forced uh, infrastructure sharing, We've never been against infrastructure sharing. In fact, we share infrastructures with both of our, our um, mobile operator competitors. What we say is that in the same way that the regulator has given us an obligation to roll out the network, the last time we got, uh, we, we, we got a license, uh, we had attached to that an obligation to roll out a number of base stations. When our competitors came a few months later with the same license, their requirements, their obligation was much smaller. We will accept, but is the message the Agrochemical Association of Kenya is passing on the 16% VAT imposed on pesticides in the country. The umbrella organizations for manufacturers, distributors, importers, formulators and users of pesticides in the country has said this after a consultative meeting with various stakeholders including tax consultants and discussed the merits and demerits of the VAT tax on agriculture in Kenya on that product and sell to a stockist who will receive those goods again at some time puts the margin on top and charge another VAT then selling to a farmer because we've done calculations something that will cost from me to a distributor say 100 shillings by the time it reaches the farmer under ordinary situation supposed to cost a farmer around 120 shillings but now with the imposition of VAT it comes to around 190 shillings so you can imagine a big gap, an increase of about 50% over and above what he has been buying at. We are calling upon the government to really listen to us and really have this law reversed. We would want to be at the zero rate so that we don't burden that farmer. Because as a, I say as a business person, I just I charge. It will not affect me, but it's going to affect this country as we are touching the nerve, agriculture supports this economy of this country. So we need to redevelop it. Away from that, insurance group Jubilee Holdings has reported a profit after tax of 2.42 billion shillings, up from 2.34 billion shillings in its half-year results during the same period in 2017. The company attributes the positive results to focusing on the bottom line in order to build long-term sustainable profits. All right, that's all we had in the world of business. Up next is Spots News.